so in this lesson we are understanding the third way to create object that is constructor function there are basically three ways to create objects in javascript what are they object literal new object constructor function this is the third way of creating object okay what is exactly the function what is the constructor function what is importance of that how it is involved in the object creation process so listen function is a collection of statements any group of statements is called as a function to do some particular task it is very generalized purpose but the purpose of the constructor function is very very specific it is mainly and only involved in adding the properties and methods to the object it is like already object is there but it is empty into the empty object we are just adding the properties and methods into the object so that is the intention of the that is the purpose of the constructor function there is an object the constructor function adds properties and methods to the object okay now here we can give function function name so in this constructor function we are able to initialize properties and methods first of all an object is required right so the new keyword will create an object the new keyword will create object so we have an object new keyword creates an object created an object object is ready and uh, we have to call this constructor function next and we have to give this object to the constructor function so just after writing new if you give any function name i mean this function name if you give here it will call this function at the same time automatically the object will go first a new creates not created an object right automatically system will pass this object to the constructor function as input now the constructor function has received the object how it is received into this keyword the this keyword will refer to the current working object which have made through new keyword simple new keyword creates an object and we are calling the constructor function automatically this object reference is given to this constructor function through this keyword so this means this particular object so this not property if you write every property will have a value where this so called property will be stored in this object because this keyword refers to object so property equal to value will be stored here and also let us write methods how to create methods this dot method equal to method is always a function function is a collection of statements so this method will be stored here that means the complete code whatever written here that will be stored in the object like this we can create any number of properties any number of methods i have given an example student details student id name marks email address all these are details are properties methods are manipulations calculation of uh, total marks calculation of average marks calculation of grade calculation of gpa all these are the examples of methods now let us see the program there this one is a previous program i want to convert this one into constructor function constructor function dot html constructor function dot html now we have to create a function function name let it be student student is the name of the function this function 
is ready to store the properties and methods to the object first how to create object first of all the new keyword will create an object absolutely and automatically if you give the function name here if you call the function name from here it will go to the function definition at the same time the new keyword makes an object right and the object is empty right that empty object automatically will go to the function when we call the function while it is going to while it is traveling to the function automatically this object will go along with that so the function will receive it through which keyword this keyword that's why if you add the properties and methods to the this keyword that will reflect the same in the objects as it is so let's write this dot student id equal to 101 this dot student name is equal to scott this dot marks equal to 80 that's all and uh, finally the object is ready along with the properties and methods okay let's write methods methods also with this keyword okay now i want to store this object address in a reference variable that reference variable is what yes yes is a reference variable which refers to the object that's it this is the constructor function new student means creating object and yes is a reference variable which stores address of the object using yes reference variable we can access the all members of the particular object now check the output go to inspect element console now we can see the object is printed student id student name marks result also printed independently but there is a very big serious problem here if you create one more object suppose let it be s2 s2 is a reference variable that contains a second object but in that also still it is showing same data exactly both objects are having same data it is not correct see it is just like um, I am a student, you are a student. Both of us having same ID number, same name, same marks, same result. Will it be same? Never. Every student is uh, having his own ID, his own name, his own email address, his own identity. So I, we have to provide different details for each constructor function. Each time when you call the constructor function like this, we have to pass different, different values. Since it is a function, function is having a feature of receiving parameters. So, we can pass argument values like 101, Scott, whatever you want to initialize there, you want to pass from here. And these values we can receive here as A, B, C. 1 at 1 will go to A, Scott will go to B, 80 will go to C. Now we can assign A, B, C respectively. Now, this is gen very generalized, not for the first student, not for the second student the same applicable for first, second, third for all the students. Now we have the uh, lib, uh, freedom to give any values, whatever you wish. So we have given these details for the first student and these details for second student. Now we can see different details are printed. First uh, object details are this one. Second object details are this one. This is how to work with the object different types of object creation process in JavaScript. In the next lesson, we will start uh, TypeScript basics because it is very much important to understand which one TypeScript for understanding Angular 245. Thank you.